On May 26, ThyssenKrupp Marine Systems handed over a frigate to the Navy of the Arab Republic of Egypt. It is the second in a series of four Miko A200N frigates. The ceremony in Bremerhaven, which was attended by high-ranking Egyptian and German Navy officials, also included the naming of the vessel. The Commander-in-Chief of the Egyptian Navy, Vice Admiral Ashraf Ibrahim Atwa, named the ship Al-Kahar, meaning the irresistible subduer. This project is considered a role model for many countries in the field of joint military industrialization, stated Vice Admiral Atwa. Today, with the delivery of the Al-Kahar frigate, our project has reached its midway. With today's handover ceremony, we add a further highlight to the excellent relationship between the Egyptian Navy and ThyssenKrupp Marine Systems, said Paul Glazer, CFO of ThyssenKrupp Marine Systems. The ongoing cooperation on naval surface vessels and submarines is one of the cornerstones of the long-term partnership between our two countries. The first-of-class ship, Al-Aziz, is already in service and has since proven its technical capabilities and reliability, and its sister ship, Al-Kahar, will be just as successful. In its class, the Miko A200N is one of the most powerful warships in service today. The next-generation vessels are more than 121 meters long, 16 meters wide and have a maximum speed of more than 29 knots. Featuring a stealthy design, the frigates are dedicated to taking on the role of the new central combat platform of the Egyptian Navy. Each ship will possess an extensive range of both defensive and offensive capabilities. In total, the Arab Republic of Egypt ordered four structurally identical vessels, with the first three units being produced in Germany and the fourth vessel being built by Alexandria Shipyard in Egypt. The building contract was signed in September 2018. Construction work on Al-Kahar started in December 2019, with Kiel laying in March 2020 and launching in August 2021. She will start the journey to her home port in Alexandria in a few days. The next milestone in this project will be the handover of the third vessel of the series, Al-Qadir, later this year.